Hi there, this is Tina Hughes from buildawebsitetonight.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the banner on your 2010 WordPress theme. Now, um, it's really not too difficult if you have access to an image editor and you know how to create images of specific sizes. So let's go and have a look at one of my websites so I can show you what I mean. This is my website called shotofcoffee.com. Now I'll uh, just show you what the website looks like. It's just the basic 2010 so that you can easily see the banner across the top, which is in a block. It has a black background and pages that are created uh, turn into menu items. So that's very straightforward. Now it also has items running down the right hand side and you can see that it's just a straightforward website. Now, the idea is changing this banner into something that you want. I've changed my banner into coffee cups to go with the theme of the website. And all I needed to do was to make sure I made my image the exact size to suit this particular WordPress theme. So let's go into the dashboard and I'll show you where I did that. Here we are in the wordpress.org dashboard. Now the banner has something to do with the appearance of the website. So what I'm going to do is click on the appearance item in the left hand uh, sidebar. When you see appearance, this is what the 2010 looks like before I changed it. You can see that this is the current theme that is set for the website. So I changed the image with the trees and the road into one to suit myself. Now over here on the left, you can see uh, different items. The one I'm looking for is header. So if I click header, that takes me to the page where I actually have uh, my banners already in place. So you can see that. But what I wanted to show you in here is the instruction given to you by WordPress. It says you can upload a custom header image to be shown at the top of your site instead of the default one. On the next screen, you'll be able to crop the image images of exactly 940 by 198 pixels will be used as is. Now let's just really pay attention to that. Each time I've done this I have wanted to have my image be exactly right and fit into the theme quick, quickly and easily. So I've gone and created images that are exactly 940 by 198 pixels. So that's what I'm going to just tell you about today. Go off to your drawing program, your image program, create your new banner. I chose to put mine on a black background so that I could see a little bit of a black border all the way around. What you do is entirely up to you. Once you've created that JPEG, you come in here, you click in this field, you choose an image and then you click the upload it button. All right. If you don't want to do your own, you have these other choices. So you can just click on one of these and choose one of these. Once you've done that, uh, you're ready to go. So it's very easy. All you need to do is go into your dashboard, go into your appearance, click the uh, header, upload an image that's exactly 940 by 198 pixels, and away you go. Once that image is saved into here, it will appear on the live page, as you see here. That wraps up today's quick video tutorial. Don't forget to pop over to my site, buildawebsitetonight.com, and sign up for my Your Biz Hot Tips newsletter. It's little videos that come out every now and then with tips about websites, blogs, and the internet. Okie dokie, that's all for now. This is Tina Hughes saying cheerio from buildawebsitetonight.com. Bye.